Hello Movie Buffs, James Cameron takes us back underwater with Sanctum, a beautifully photographed movie that will have you coming up for air. The cave environment and 3D would go together. That's Cameron talking about the 3D aspect of the film. He spearheaded this project as an executive producer, and he's right, you know, the 3D quality of the film is quite breathtaking. Using his patented Cameron Pace Fusion camera, Cameron, the guy who gave us Titanic and the Abyss, goes back into the deep for the so so film. I wished he directed this one, it probably would be better. Based on the real-life experience of longtime Cameron collaborator, writer Andrew Wright, the script failed in displaying the film's man versus nature element. Come on, Frank, give me to the iPad. There are no big-name Hollywood stars in this one. That's probably why it's being called a low-budget film, at least by Cameron's standards. But we have the usual cast of characters familiar in this genre. There's the hard-headed leader, his wise-cracking friend, a heroic teenager, fantastic horse Johan Griffin, fit as a billionaire and his girlfriend the token woman they're underwater cave divers on an expedition to the last unexplored territory in the world Cameron has the formula of disaster movies down pat first comes the awe and the wonderment then the calamity in this film is a tropical storm that forced the explorers deep into the caverns will they make it out alive you don't have to reach into the deep to predict this film. It's full of cliched scenes, mediocre acting, and poor character development. But when Cameron says this... Your knuckles are gonna get white, and that's what this film will do to you when you watch it. He's partly true. The movie miraculously managed to come up with a few cheap thrills, even if your ears will bleed from bad dialogue. You never, ever give up. And for that, Sanctum gets two and a half Open waters kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. Sanctum is easy in the eyes, but hard on the ears. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. Keep your head above water.